If, like me, you're a fan of using OneNote to keep all your thoughts organised, this simple tip might be of use to you. As you can see here, I've opened a page with my upcoming tasks, I've got my agenda and my minutes, and then I've got a little side bit with actions. Now, you don't have to have it set out like this, you can do it however suits you, but the tip that I wanted to share is how you get those actions from your OneNote into your Outlook tasks. So to do that, we're going to go up here to our Quick Access toolbar, and we're going to go down to More Commands. And we're going to scroll down until we see Outlook Tasks, and then we're going to add it. And when, <laughs> you can see I've already done it. Uh, so when you see Outlook Tasks is on your Quick uh, Access toolbar, simply say OK. And now it's appeared here. So in my meeting, we've had a discussion and I have to take a note to speak to Janice re-ASN allocation and resource allocation um, after our meeting and our discussion I know that I need to um, phone John's mum to discuss support and finally my final task is um, to uh, speak to SLT re next steps in sharing information. Okay, so these are my three tasks. So I know that the first one I need to speak to right away. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go over to that Outlook tasks and I need to do that today. So I'm going to simply click today. You'll see it now has a flag on it. So it's now going to be flagged in my Outlook. John's mum, I'm going to leave that until tomorrow because she's working. So you'll see it's got slightly, it's, um, it's not as bright. And then finally, the SLT doesn't meet until Monday. So I need to choose custom for that. When I choose custom, it takes a moment before that tab actually opens. So don't click it two or three times because what you'll find is if you're just a little bit patient, it will open up for you and you don't want to have three or four of the same task. If it doesn't open, you can always click on up here, open task in Outlook, and that should prompt it to open for you. So when it opens, you'll see that this one has no start or no due date. So you simply go in and you set that. So I'm going to do that on Monday. And then you'll see it takes me straight back to my OneNote should I need to find that particular page. And I'm just going to press save and close. So now all three of my tasks have this little red flag against them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open my Outlook and I'll show you where they are in there. Okay, so here I am in Outlook, I'm in my calendar, and I can see under today's task, I've got Speak to Janice re-ASN allocation. So I'm simply going to double click that, it'll pop open and I've done it. So I simply click Mark Complete. So that's now disappeared from today's list um, and that means that's completed. When I go back to my window, you'll see that that's now ticked off. So I've now got all my notes, all of my information that I wanted in my OneNote, but I've also got all my tasks speaking directly to Outlook. And when I've completed them, I have that tick to show that it's done. I find that a really helpful way of organising my thoughts, and I hope you do too.